Aloha Browse, how's it? Long overdue for a furnishing plan farm video. I think it's been a few months since the last one. But I think we found a pretty good one here with the new DLC, you know, in the Deadlands. And most, th this one I'm going to show in the Wretched Spire and then I'm going to show you how with like the Deadlands portals after. So here's just a bunch of clips in the background uh, showing the plans that I found. A lot of Fargrave plans and, you know, a little less Deadlands. And you got, a, you got some nice food plans with the Fargrave DLC here. As you can see, sometimes it's getting doubles. The clips I'm using here is from one of my buddies who contributes to this channel as well. So this is basically all his clips. I, I, I forced him to find all this crap. So, yeah, it was kind of a headache having to map the routes for you for the next two clips that you'll see, apparently, with it, within the Wretched Spire. Uh, I'm going to break it down into two different methods, but you can honestly do both of them together in one run if you want. I know some people are apprehensive towards stealing just because, you know, stealing can get very tedious. Then you got to run away and you got to fence. But I mean, I, I honestly suggest stealing because there are so many backpacks that you can miss here. Right. So uh, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy. So the first method is in the Wretched Spire, and it's like right in the middle of this area where it's like a big rock that erects straight from the ground, <laughs> erects, erects straight from the ground. It's called the Spire Hall. I hope you saw the map previously so you know, you know where to go exactly, but it, it's really hard to miss. And here there are seven lootable things. You got the nightstands, wardrobes, and the trunks which all, always have a high possibility to find plans. The only problem is there's only seven of them here. That's why I recommend doing the next method and just incorporating both in the same run. Now this one was very tedious to do because we just kept missing backpacks while farming here. But essentially you want to go a little west from the Wretched Spire Way Shrine into the actual Wretched Spire. And you want to start around right here. So make sure if you have to rewind to see where you, you to position yourself in the map. He, he started up here, like in the shanty. Yeah, and basically you're just stealing from backpacks, uh, trunks or whatever is around. I want to say there were at least 30 backpacks that we found on this run alone. And we already saw people kind of going around doing this method as well so just keep a note of the backpacks you can slow this video down if you need to to follow but eventually you'll you'll kind of get the gist of where things are now the problem with stealing is that stealing offers a slightly well i don't even know if it's slightly it offers a significantly lower percentage of finding plans right? which is why i personally don't like stealing myself but this is, like, un unless there's another way, like another area that you can find, which I'll have to... Ooh, see, you got a plan right there. Oh, yeah, here. So, sorry, I, this is the first time I'm watching. I do it the other way. I do it counterclockwise. He's doing it clockwise. Yeah. Guess he's pickpocketing. So just keep a mental note of what you can... You see, that desk right there is a lootable. Down here, he kind of had to, he, he had to circle back there, starting off. And then this house has one backpack in it as well. All right, so just keep a mental note of where things are and where he started. This backpack is very difficult to get sometimes. So if you're going to, but you can hide behind that crate to steal it. We have tried and it worked. So don't forget, and see, that's the spot that we just passed by in the first clip with the non-stealing method. That's why it's better to just incorporate everything in one run, because you can get, a, it increases the chances of you finding something. So here, so I guess he started clockwise and then went counterclockwise like me. I guess he just wanted to get that tall building out of the way. All right, fair enough. So once you loot those, you want to go right here, because it actually is a more organized loop you can kind of go around. You got a backpack up here when you get up the shanty area, cupboard, it was empty. So here the bedrooms, like these always have a very good chance of dropping something, right? 
And honestly, backpacks have a great chance of dropping plants too. It's just when you get into the stealing aspect of the game, it significantly decreases your chances, which you know, sucks because that's all we've found so far here. But uh, he has found every green plant so far and he's only been farming for a day. He's found a few blues here and there and the purples that he found were already homestead plants from you know the previous, like right in the beginning DLC basically. So, so he jumps down here. Don't forget this cave down here, right? And then this bar has a few. So on the inside, there's two backpacks you can loot here inside this bar area. So there and there. However, you want to circle back outside. So you get one there. You want to circle out here to get another one. Ah, I feel like this guy missed, missed a backpack. Yeah, whatever. You'll see it. Backpack. And we're about to finish the run. Oh yeah, no, he does get it. So this is the one outside. That's, yeah, so he did get it, Never mind. And the final method I wanna share on how to find the Deadland structural furnishing plans are these Oblivion portals. Now, as you can see on the map right here, if you notice those little red Harrowstorm icons you can see right here, those are the possible spawn points where you can enter the Deadlands portals. Now, if you, it's not very clear on this video, I would recommend going on the site with the link listed right there, the gamemaps.com, Elder Scrolls Online Deadlands DLC. But those are the possible spawn points. They're random, and it took me and my buddy like 15 minutes to actually find one that we could enter. If you guys can find one, then you can teleport to the other person to make it into that oblivion portal in that realm. And then what you are doing essentially is to try to make it to the middle. You just want to keep fighting monsters. Like you'll always see them. Um, you'll always enter from an area, and you just want to keep making it to the next portal. So I would recommend bringing a fighter. Right, tanks are going to take a little longer. And once you make it to the end, you can actually fight monsters. Um, like you can fight monster. Or there's like a boss at the end, and then a chest that you can loot right at the end, where you can get the possible plans. This this method is actually a lot. He's like you're going to find. A lot more plans this way compared to the stealing method but you can only find like those specific plans so once you're there i would recommend parking your character there and just fighting it as much as you can until you get bored because those chests have a very high chance of giving plans for some reason like we found a lot of purples and blues already in the first half hour so i don't know if that's a glitch or if that's what they intended it but yeah so mahalo so much for tuning in to this video i hope this was helpful if there are other spots that you found that are better, I mean, feel free to share it in the comments. Or if you don't want to share it, don't share it, right? <laughs> I know some people like to keep it secret so the developers of this game don't nerf it. So take it easy, guys. Stay safe. Mahalo for tuning in.